Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to give you guys first impressions of, uh, I think they're gonna be oils from a company called Atar uh, Fragrances. They are out of the UK, so they reached out to me on Instagram a little bit ago asking me if I would check out a couple of their oils or their fragrances and make a little bit of content for them. I said, of course I will. So they sent me, um, I think they're gonna be like 10 mil decants of three of their uh, scents. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys first impressions of openings and dry downs of uh, all three. And I'm gonna make some content for Instagram because I think they wanted it on my Instagram more so than my YouTube channel because the YouTube channel is not getting a lot of views, but the Instagram page is actually thriving right now. So if you haven't checked me out on Instagram, go check me out. I have the uh, link in the description, staff around a dime 20, and uh, I post scents of the day, stuff like that on there. Uh, just a lot of like fragrance photos, you know, that kind of thing. All right, let's go ahead and crack this one open. Came all the way across the pond from the UK. All right, here we go. So I have leather. It's gonna be a 10 ml right here. I have Ventress Elixir and uh, Oud right here. So let's see, see how they smell. Leather is one of my uh, favorite cool cold weather notes, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and start with leather. These are sprayable. These are nice glass atomizers, by the way. Uh, they look really nice. Um, or glass decants. Atomizers look good too. So let's see how leather smells. Ooh, wow. That's really good. Um, it smells like identical to Tom Ford Ombre leather. Wow. Ah, oh, man, that's, that's a really good leather. Uh, now, my favorite leather is going to be like Tuscan leather. Uh, I love Tuscan leather quite a bit. Ombre leather is very, very good. And this is what that smells like. It smells identical to ombre leather. Oh man, that is a beautiful leather scent. Not sure about the concentration or anything on these. Um, what I'll do when I come back in like three hours for the dry down rundown, I'll look up online and try to get you guys a little bit more information. But yeah, this is really good. If you're looking for a nice like leather scent, leather fragrance, leather oil, a Tars leather is really good. And I'm willing to bet it's gonna be less than Tom Ford Ombre leather. Digging this one quite a bit. All right, so let's try out uh, this Ventress right here. See what we got. Oh my gosh. This smells, this reminds me of Aventus. Definitely reminds me of Aventus. And I'm talking like that juicy pineapple dominant Aventus. Not, not the new Aventus that you get with all like too much apple and stuff added to it. This one smells like just juicy pineapple, deliciousness. This smells good. And you know, a lot of you guys who've been watching the channel for, for, for some time, you guys know I'm not a huge Aventus guy. I'm not on that like Aventus is the only fragrance bandwagon or the greatest fragrance ever made. But I've been coming around to it a little bit. Uh, wore it, actually wore it in the hospital. 
couple days after I had surgery. I had my wife bring me my uh, my travel spray of it, and um, I don't know, it's grown on me a little bit. Still not like, I mean, there's so many fragrances out there that I think are just awesome that I don't jump on one and that's it kind of thing. But this, this is what I would want Creed to produce. And I'm sure this is probably going to be like a clone of that uh, 13Z or whatever um, batch of Creed Aventus. This smells incredibly good. Juicy, juicy pineapple in this one. If you like pineapple, you like the juicy pineapple batch of Aventus. Uh, what is this? Ventress from Atar. That's it, man. That's delicious. It smells delicious. Okay, now we have Oud right here. Let's give this one a spray and see what type of magic is going to come from it. This is really good too. Um, now I know there's, this might be, maybe Oud for Greatness. Maybe, this might be Oud for Greatness. But the Oud in here is actually really good. It's not, Super like it's not medicinal or any gross type of oud. Oud could be one of those notes that's like huge turnoff, huge no for a lot of people. But this, this one I think is worth trying. You know what? That's not oud for greatness. I think this is oud wood. This smells like Tom Ford oud wood. Yep, oud wood. Dang, it smells really good, guys. Um, hear my kid. Hear what? Hear, hear my youngest back there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think this is going to be oud wood, and it smells pretty identical to oud wood. Uh, so these are definitely going to be clones. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what they were when they reached out, all of that. But these are definitely going to be clones. Uh, and you have Ombre Leather, you have Aventus, you have Oud Wood. And these are really, really spot on. I mean, these might be one to one. Um, these are these are awesome. These are just really, really good. Uh, I think they did an awesome job replicating those three fragrances in these right here. These are... They're spot on, man. These things are spot on. Uh, if you're looking for a new clone house, Atar, <laughs> they're making some incredible clones in the UK. If you're in the UK and you've been wanting to order... Uh, some of the, I guess, clones from the States, but they don't ship them to the UK or whatever. This is going to be your house right here. Incredible. Incredible. I'm going to get prices and all of that uh, when I turn the camera off, come back, dry down, run down this thing, and let you guys know how they develop. All right, guys, so it's been three hours. Going to go ahead and run down these dry downs. And we'll start with leather, which is right here. Leather. Still smells like a leather jacket, like a leather bag. It smells like Tom Ford ombre leather, and it is identical. Identical to Tom Ford Ombre Leather. I did check the prices on these. Uh, it, the company is Atar London. And um, I'll drop the website in the description of this so you guys can check them out. Prices are, I believe, 15 euros for something this size. 
which I think is a pretty decent deal. And it's like 45 euros for a 50 ml. So if you're wanting a 50 milliliter bottle, it's like 45 euros. They say that they're gonna last um, at least six hours or more on skin. On clothing, uh, it's gonna last until you wash your clothes. And I mean, it's still firing off the paper really well for um, after three hours. And again, it smells identical to Tom Ford Ombre leather. And a much more affordable. So a 50 ml of Tom Ford Ombre leather is gonna run you what, like around $160, I think. So, um, I don't know how many euros that is, but uh, 45 euros is what, probably something like, I don't know, can't be that much, right? I can't remember. Are euros more valuable than the dollar? Do the math. I can't remember the exchange rate, but um, moral of the story or whatever, what I'm trying to get at is these are going to cost you a lot less than the original. So if you're looking for that scent, like ombre leather, and you you just don't want to pay like that much money, Tom Ford prices, this is a great way to go, especially if you're in the UK. Uh, they smell incredible, very, very good. Um, now, with Ventress here, still smells like Aventus, smells like, I still get that juicy pineapple. I don't get a whole lot of the birch, a little bit maybe, uh, but I get a lot of that juicy pineapple three hours later. I think this is probably, a lot of people like Aventus clones because you can't get a bottle of like that juicy pineapple batch of Aventus for less than like a thousand dollars now. Uh, so a lot of people do like the clone option because they're getting the scent that they want at a huge, huge discounted price. And this is going to give you that Aventus juicy pineapple batch scent or whatever at an incredible price like 15 euros for this 45 euros for a 50 ml where you're going to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a uh, if you could track down a um, 13 zz01 or whatever batch it is uh you're going to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a 50 ml probably like a thousand dollars for a um 100 ml i believe so oud definitely smells like tom ford oud wood now i will say that the dry down of oud i get a little bit more of a touch of sweetness going on there smells great it smells absolutely incredible i think these smell really really good definitely a good option if you want that tom ford oud wood boss like scent but you don't want to pay those executive <laughs> prices or whatever. Uh, Atar London's making a great clone of it. Yeah, these are great. Um, thank you to Atar London for reaching out, thinking of me um, to, you know, make some content for your product. Definitely enjoy these. They smell incredibly um, pretty one-to-one. -one. Oud Wood's a little bit different because you get a little bit of a sweetness uh, in the dry down, which I think is very, very nice. Um, but the uh, Ventress and Leather, they'll smell one-to-one -to, -one to what they're trying to replicate. They smell very, very good. Um, prices are great on them. I think they're pretty standard for uh, clone prices or whatever. And it smells like the quality's there. I mean, they smell they smell one-to-one. -one. Um so yeah, I, I would definitely check them out. Uh, you can get a discovery kit from them for, I want to say 27 euros, and that would be three of these bottles. They have other options as well. They have, um, when I was looking at the website, they have a handful of other fragrances. Not sure what they were cloning because I just didn't click on them, just saw them. So they have some options there that you could try out. These are really nice decants with nice atomizers. Uh, you get plenty of juice and then they're filled to the top and 27 bucks gets you three to try out or 27 euros yeah definitely worth checking out if you're into clones or you just want to obtain these scents at you know less than what you would pay for the originals 
definitely check out Atar London. Really nice stuff from them. Uh, again, thank you to them for thinking of me, sending these out to me. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching the video. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, um, watch my ads so I can get paid. And yeah, that, I guess that about wraps it up. All right, guys, again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.